household, so that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. Ezekiel, verse 4. And his sons would go and feast in their houses, each on his appointed day, and would send and invite their three sisters to eat and drink with them. So it was, when the days of feasting had run their course, the, that Job would send and sanctify them. And he would rise early in the morning and offer burnt offerings according to the member, according to the number of them all. For Job said, It may be that my, son, my sons have sinned and caused and caused God in their heart. Thus Job did regularly. This is where we shall stop. May the Lord bless his world for the service of our souls in Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. Amen. Let us call the name of Jesus three times. Father, come and bless me this morning. Let this message not go in vain in my life. Turn that to prayer. Pray concerning the message you are about to hear. Pray concerning the message you are about to hear. 
pray that the Lord should touch your heart. That the message should not go in vain in your life. Holy Spirit, touch me this morning. Holy Spirit, come and touch me this morning. Let me not remain the same again. Yes, sir. Jesus our Lord. Let us go on our knees. Baba Oh, Sana, yeah, oh, oh, shay, oh, Baba, oh, 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 oh,
Father, I accept our thanks. We have come to worship before you this morning. And we have come with reference to honor you. Because you are the holy rock of Israel. You are the God of mercy. You are the one that is merciful to the generation of man. And therefore, I thank you, Father. Since the beginning of this revival, I thank you for all of your kindness. Father, I magnify you greatly. Lord, I accept our thanks. Accept our praise. And I also thank you this morning because you speak to us. Both this uh, speaker, the listener and the speaker. Father, I magnify you for you. Touch us. You send the word of life into our lives. You break every bound and you lose every bound. Father, accept our thanks. Our thanks and praise that it be acceptable. Father, we are progressing. Take charge. In writing the message that we are about to hear, and even in the prayers we are going to pray, Holy Spirit, take charge. Glorify yourself. Father, be enthroned in our midst. Help us. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to our God. Jesus, our Lord. The whole church will worship His Majesty three times. And then you shout it as you worship. The king that is enthroned in our midst. Even though we cannot see him, but he's close. Let us stand. We are going to shout seven hallelujah to him for his grace in our lives. One, two, three. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 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 Glorify the Father. 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 Give him a clap, offering. 
Let's be seated. Thanks be to the Lord for the powerful work he has been doing about two weeks ago. And I know we perfect his work today as we are aware of the fact that the program ends today. So 14 days program. Yeah. A 14 days revival. And I know miracle will happen as it ends in the evening today. But you are going to end it by evening today. Every one of us, we have to be here in the evening today. The Lord will help us. I greet us all. Happy Sunday. In line with the message that I started about two weeks ago, I am talking on the topic, how can we receive the oil of grace? So most of I, I talked to us last week about being born again. That the oil is for those that have been born again. It is not for unbelievers. It then means that the first thing you need to do is to surrender your life to Jesus. If you want to receive this oil. And I shared a little with us last week. Uh, where we stopped was obedience. And that was what we prayed on last Sunday. And we realized that Adam was uh, so, obedient. See, and the promise was, uh, came to fulfillment in his I life. I pray also that the promise shall be fulfilled in your life. So, Let us look at the third level. So, if you want to receive the oil of grace, it is called the oil of grace. I told you that it will not just come without you doing certain things or taking note of some things. And this is the third level. Sanctifying the Lord. Sanctifying the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You might want to imagine that how can I sanctify the Lord? When you talk about sanctifying the Lord, we are in essence talking about uh, giving honor to the Lord. In all that you do, you must honor God. So now, I want us to take note of this very well. A lot of Christians are not uh, taking note of this. And this has brought a serious problem for some of us. The day you become born again, just like I told you last Sunday, you have become a new creature. You are not an ordinary man again. The old things have passed away. You cannot do things the way you like any longer. Everywhere you get to, you should always be ready to sanctify God. Uh, in your office, you should sanctify the Lord. In, every day, right in your house, every day, you must sanctify God. So, this message will not always uh, come. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for Thank God that the Lord has given us the grace to hear it. Now, I want us to see some examples in the Holy Scripture so that you can always caution yourself and then ask yourself whether you have sanctified God each day. That I'm about to go out. Have I been able to sanctify God? If you are about to eat, you will sanctify it. 
if I want to have a test now that how many people sanctify the food before they eat, maybe half of the population of the church. And when some people are famished, they will just say, Jesus our Lord, and that is their sanctifying food. Some will not even wash their hands before they eat their swallow. Because they are seriously are hungry. The first thing is that you must sanctify God. Hallelujah. Amen. When you buy any item, you have to sanctify everything. God over it. So everything you do, as in as much as you are born again, you have to sanctify God. There are there are several examples in the Holy Scripture, but I will explain a few so that we can grab what I'm talking about. Go with me to the book of Numbers, chapter 20, from verse 7 to 13. Let's be attentive where, when it is, uh, we are reading it. So that you know that you need to sanctify God always. Yes. Instruction. That's instruction. An instruction. So that's why God man listen to you and sorrow. And that's why you must be attentive when the Lord speaks to you. The Lord said to Moses his servant, take the rod. Yes. Both of you, I'm about to send you on an errand. Listen, for some of us that the Lord is about to send on errand this year, you should know how to go about it. Uh, for some of us that we are seated here this morning, the Lord is about to send some of us but, on an errand. But be very careful how you are going to answer to his calling. Let's listen to, to what happened. Gather all of them before the raw. So that woman listening to Bangboro alone that be please be very attentive when you are hearing the message or even when you are studying uh, having your devotion the Holy Spirit might want to minister to you in any way gather them all before the rock and then speak Hello? to the rock uh, can you hear what I am saying just speak. It's just uh, an example of a president sending advice on uh, an errand. That's just an example. If he takes anything out of the uh, <laughs> messages uh, instructed to deliver, what will happen? If we ask him to deliver uh, eight messages and he uh, just delivered five, what will happen? There will be a problem. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to be attentive. Because the Lord will send you to oh, do certain oh, things. Oh, and you will not deliver the wrong message in Jesus' name. When man, when man is about to ask you to do certain things for him, you will listen because he happens to be your boss. But how much more the most high God? You should know that your failure to do is as instructed can lead to a query. Mm -hmm. It's not, as, it's not as if God cannot descend himself and touch the rock, but he has some of his uh, people on earth that he can use. Yes. 
Right from the throne, the Father can command the rock to bring water without using man or rod. And he will just speak and it will happen. Because there is no such thing he cannot do. But he used man and told him to speak to the rock. Now, Yes. 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 After he had received the instruction from the Lord, did the father to, uh, told him to add the statement, you rebels? By the time the Lord will be sending you to do certain things for him this uh, year, do not add or uh, try to take anything out of it. The message we are hearing this morning, I read it over and over again, and Hallelujah. I was so afraid. So I just I pray that the Lord have mercy. If this can happen to a green leaves, how much more the dry ones? Now, saying goodbye, O Pari, do this thing. Now, and that is it. Only a year later, you say ye rebels. It is what Moses said. Your word is okay. He lifted up his hand and the rod, but that wasn't the Lord's instruction. Now, you rebels, say, uh, you are uh, stubborn and you are disobedient. He was angry. And he raised the rod. Remember, it was the rod of the Lord. It's not Moses that has the rod. But it's on the Lord. And the rock he was supposed to speak to. Jesus is the rock. Amen. He just took the rod and smote the rock. Leg. The second time, Beam. he smote the rock. And the water came out. Why did the water come out? Because the water out. So for the children of Israel to get water to drink so that they will not grumble against him again, their case was settled. So it wasn't because the leader had made a mistake that water should not come out of the rock. Water came out. The children of Israel were refreshed. And they were jubilated. Their animals were able to get enough water. But thereafter, then the Lord called upon Moses. Moses said, Moses, why have you failed to sanctify me? And the Lord told Moses and not the entire nation of Israel. Those are the people that are actually saying so that to carry out the assignment. So that by the time the Lord sends you to do certain things, you know how to deliver the message. Yes, yes. And you never sanctify me before the children of Israel. Oh God. There's nothing that you will do that the father is not aware. Even if you speak inwardly, he knows. Even what the statement you make next year, he knows you make such statement. Because you got to that rock where I led you, 
and you fail to sanctify me. Before the children of Israel, you have failed to sanctify me. Do you equally sanctify God in your home? In your office, do you sanctify the Lord? In whatever position you occupy, do you sanctify the Lord? Sanctify, sanctify God. This is the most high. This is not about your food. Nor your home. But do you actually sanctify God? In everything that he has sent you to do, do you sanctify him? Pray this prayer that, Lord, let me not deliver the wrong message in life. You <laughs> might not understand. Just pray in his statement that, Lord, let me never deliver the wrong message in life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So if you study the story of Moses very well, he wasn't uh, disobedient to God. It was the children of Israel that caused him to be hungry. He will never be uh, rude to the Most High. Because he knew God so well. Because you okay. and Aaron have failed to sanctify me. In what I have asked you to <laughs> do. And that's why I'm saying to you that when God, the Lord sends you to do something, be very careful and know precisely oh, what I'm, He asks you oh, to do. The first thing that you need to do in whatever thing that the Lord is asking you to do is to sanctify Him. If you read the story of Jesus, when Jesus is about to carry out any assignment, what is the first thing that he will do? He said, Father, I thank you because you answer me. And because you answer me now, and that is it. Every journey that Jesus uh, was, uh, went on, he would never made a mistake. And this is all of our prayer. You need to continually pray that, Lord, have mercy on me. It is, it's a different thing for you to be born again. Another thing entirely for you to know the exact thing to do. Some people, they just answer the name born again, but they never realize that they are a different person. They do not seem to understand that they are no longer oh, the they you cannot do things the way they want people do. So all that you do from now, it is only what the Lord instructs that you do. You cannot do anything on your own. Yes. And the Lord was sanctified in them. The Father was eventually sanctified in them. That Moses, on your part, you have not sanctified me, but I have been sanctified already. <sighs> May God have mercy and help us. I pray. Before the most high this year, we will not make mistakes. Do you realize that ever since that time? Even though it was in the agenda of the Lord that Moses would be the one to lead the children of Israel to the king, to the land of promise. But for that particular mistake that he made, the father said, you will not take them any further. You will not take them there anymore. 
I'm going to use another person to take them to the Canaan land. What will make uh, your work to be stopped? You say amen three times. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. Every, every one of us here, we need this prayer. It's a prayer that we need to pray always. The Lord will help us. I want to bring more examples so that we know how to pray when we get back home. You should know we are in the week of prayer. This year, in Jesus' name, we will not fumble. If you go with me to the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 13, verse 8 to 14, Esther Banka. Yes. Yes. Subon Samuel ko wa si gigali awon eniyan si tuka ku ole odo re Saul si wi pe mu ebo sisun ati ebo re po na fun mi wa o si ru ebo sisun na o si se bi o ti se ebo re ati ebo sisun won ni pari si ki esi Samuel de Saul si jade lati lo ipade re ki o le ki Samuel si bi pe kini iwo se yi Saul si dan pe nitori ti emi ri pe awon eniyan na tuka kuro lodo mi Iwo ko si wali akoku ojo ti o da awon filisini si ko ara awon ojo ni mikmasi nitori na ni emi se wi pe nisisi ni awon filisini yo so kale so mi wa si gligali be ni emi ko ti tu oluwa loju emi si ti ara mi si mo si ru ebo sisun na samari si wi fun solu pe iwo ko wu iwa ologbon iwo ko pa ofin oluwa olorun mo iwo o wu iwa ologbon thou has done foolishly and secondly, you have not kept the commandment of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. If you fail to sanctify God, you have not uh, behaved as a wise person. And that means you do not respect the Father. Be because Moses never respected the father at that time that was what brought problems for him those are part of the things that the flesh can uh, cause you to do and that's why you should continually pray over the flesh that the Lord should subdue it in your life that he should not inhabit you for the rest of your journey the father would have established your kingdom today uh, right from above the father would have established you as a king over israel but he failed to sanctify God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the one that was supposed to make that burnt offering has not arrived. Because what he did shouldn't have been done by a king but by the priest. Saul did not sanctify God in, in offering the bond offering. That was where he had the problem. You should know what you are doing in the journey of this year. Yes. Yes. Oh. For you have failed to keep the commandment oh, of the Lord. You have failed to keep the commandment of God. By the time you are not able to keep the commandment of God and you violate his uh, commandment, in whatever the Lord instructs that you do, such a person has failed to sanctify God. He has failed to sanctify the Father. In Jesus' name, an evil spirit will not inhabit our lives. Second Chronicle. He will chronicle KG. Second Chronicle. Chronicle KG. 26, 16 to 21. Ori Kerry, the Logbon. S.L. Kerry, the Logbon. See. Shibonu ba ti o le agbara tan. Hmm. Okan re gbe ga soke si iparun. 
Your heart shall not be lifted up. By the time the Lord uplifts you, the spirit of pride will not have a place. We are a human, we just have to be careful. That is why. Uh priest. Asaria Alufa si wole tolo. O wole tolo. Ati ogoni Alufa. Uh -huh. Yes. A wan lagbara. Yes. Once it tako uzi ya oba. Once it tako pe oba. Yes. Ki she tire. Ki she tire. Uzi ya lati su turari fun oluwa. O yeko su turari Alufa lo yeko se le. Yes. Biko se ti a wan Alufa. Eh eh. A wan mo aroni. Yes. Si a ya si mo lati su turari. Uh huh. Jade kuro ni ibi mi mo. Where was he angry? Where was he angry? Right on the altar. Where he burned incense. mistake. At first he had made a mistake. Because it was the assignment meant for the priest and not for a king. And secondly, he was angry. The spirit of anger that will lead you to suffering in Jesus' name it will not have an impact over your life. Please, as I pray for you, please say amen. Because our Father is merciful. For the sake of the journey of this year, that is where you are hearing this. Let us watch you. Yes. Yes. And leprosy is a generation that never have been a leper. He was the first person to be a leper in his family. Why? He failed to sanctify God. Hallelujah. Amen. He went to the place where he ought not to make a burnt offering or incense and he failed to oh, sanctify gee, God. Oh, he went to the place where he ought not to make a burnt offering or incense and he failed to sanctify God. Whatever the Lord has not instructed that you do and you do, you are failed to sanctify God. Hallelujah. Amen. So in Toloro, Baniko, see when you find the number when you are doing that go, hey, Masa Yagbagbasi. And whatever the Lord has not instructed that you do, please do not attempt to do it. Tori kwe koni muinye wa. Because it will not bring praise. Oh, did you hear it? This is a whole king. Kilofa. Tori kwe ori kwe onti di alagbara. Be why? Because he felt that he had become a powerful man. At least, Bobo Yelo Alabel. That he has so many subjects under him. Yes, only control him, and he can control them. So, what is it? You know, what no? He said, "Ebote eruke kilo ambe moferu ba." And he said, "The bond offering you make, what is there? I also want to do it." Lie the makwe ba balong control everything. Not realizing that the Father is the one controlling everything. If the Lord has assigned an, an, a priest, you should know that the Father has anointed him. And there are certain work that the uh, priest needs to carry out in church. As we are in church, there are each group and there are a certain work that each one of us can do. Amen. Now my own ministry is to preach and pray. Amen. Amen. I want come here me you say to the way you say. There are other things that I cannot do, but other people can do. Oh, there's a lot of demands delegate. And that is why a servant of God will delegate activi activities. That Help us do this in the house of God. And if they are able to do it very well, miracle will happen in their life. 
Now, what is the business of a king with offering bond offerings? On this particular day, he failed to sanctify God. And leprosy right from above came over his life. And a leper cannot be a king. Immediately, he was dethroned. What will make you to lose the position that you occupy? You will not never engage in it. Let uh -huh. Yes. You Listen to that statement that because the Lord has smitten him. Was it man that did that? The Lord has smitten him. That was why leprosy showed up. Amen. What well, we made the Lord to be uh, hungry with you this year, you will never why. engage in it. As we move with God, let's be very careful. You should realize that all that you are doing, the Lord is watching. There's no uh, something. There's nothing hidden that the Father cannot see. The whole king was secluded. He could no longer live in the palace. Because of his failure to sanctify God for a day. May the Lord have mercy on us. May the Lord have mercy on us. May the Lord have mercy on us. I cannot go against God. It is forbidden to go against God. Whoever that is that will go against God will meet his Waterloo. I cannot go against God. I will not attempt to go against God. The book of Habakkuk said something. Chapter 2, verse 20. Yes. Yes. The old earth should be silent before him. By the time you are at the temple of the Almighty, everyone must keep silent. It's a pity some people are in church and they, list, they go and answer call from time to time because of man. That's because you are ignorant of what we call the temple of the Almighty. And that is why since the from the beginning of the service to the end of the service, nothing whatsoever must bring distractions to you. You have to be seated because you are right in the presence of the Most High. And in the service like this, some people will be invited to come outside and they can go in a discussion over a business on Sunday. The, uh, the message is going on and they will tap him that please come and settle our differences outside. For because they are not concerned with that message. How then will the Lord be pleased with him? Are we going to say such person has sanctified God on that service? Hallelujah. Amen. Let no one implicate you in the journey of this year. Wherever you are in the presence of the house of God, you should learn to humble yourself and be humbled before Him. 
and the, uh, the father is above and is watching all his children beneath. Uh, Let me say a little more in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2. Samuel Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. 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 Lati wo e fodu ni waju mi Yes Emi si fi gbogbo ebo ti omo Israeli ma fi na sun fun idile baba re Baba lo fi fun baba wo yo pela ni that give him that great grace Yes E se ti eyin fi tapa si ebo ati ore mi Ki lo te fi tapa si ebo ati ore mi Why have you gone against me Eni bujoko mi Eh latori te mi ti mo pa lase ki lo te fi tapa si Why have you gone against me fun awon omo re ju mi lo O wa bo la fun awon omo re ju mi lo Ti e fi ti e si fi gbogbo ayo ebo Israeli awon eniyan mi mu ara yin sora Eh eh Ni tori na Ni tori na Oluwa Olorun Israeli wi pe Oluwa Olorun Israeli wi pe Emi ti wi ni to to pe Eh ile ere Yes, yes. you marry. Ni waju mi titi titi sugbon nisisin yi sugbon nisisin yi oluwa wi pe oluwa wi pe ti baba ni ka marry the father said baba you not be any longer lojo yen ni baba yi e pada it was on that day that the father changed it so ri po iya mi si mi mo for his failure to honor to sanctify god so ni pa to olorun ba i am talking about god now oh ya mi si mi mo you have failed to sanctify god you have not even honored me with your children and you have not sanctified me. Christianity Any Christian that will not honor God with his children has failed to sanctify God. He won't say that that you know church uh he won't also can you on says that so I want to get you once a yahoo yahoo. So you present yourself well in church, you carry uh -huh. out your ministerial work as expected, but your children engage in a fraudulent business. One thing, continue to your Lord, Lord. They engage in those things that are not pleasing to God. Oh, for my oh, for poor life, for Lord. That is an indication that you have not honored God with those children. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, yeah, Lord, see, Mama, in a lay. You have failed to sanctify God right in your home. That's another thing. Amen. Through your children, in Jesus' name, we will not fall. Please say that, Amen. We should not fall through our children. Amen, 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 in Jesus' name. That one, the fair man misbehave, the the yak, oh, whoa. So by the time you realize your children is about to start misbehaving, you had better call upon them if it takes for you to shed tears and caution them. The Lord gave Eli two sons. But the two of them, they are quite uh, terrible. They, they never sanctify God at all. Right in the church, they will just uh, have an affair with women. They live with women right in the church. The sons of Eli. Yeah. The burnt offering, as the Lord has uh, commanded, they will go with the old pearls. And they will just say, Who is going to stop us? Until the Father uh, spoke from above. Oh, from Obola for me. That you have not honored me with your children. And you have not honored me with your children. And whoever yeah, Lord, see me, that fails to honor God with his or her children, they have not uh, sanctified God. That's just the meaning. Hmm. The Lord will help us. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. To to Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Rant your joy, see me, last again, you. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. 
Whoever it is that does not sanctify the Sabbath day has not sanctified God. It's a pity that so many people are right in their office now. Hallelujah. Amen. On the day that is uh, seen as a glorious day, as a day of reference before God. Hey, I am not talking about unbelievers that are right in the office or in their business place, but a born again Christian that miss uh, out in service and is not does not sanctify the Sabbath day is has not sanctified God. Uh-huh. You should not do any work on this day. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And the father rested on the seventh day. Only the motive way walking first me. It's in this nation that I realize that people do not want to rest. La broad to bat second to bat to time or see me. What pass it in here? So la you su can ye a lady one. In abroad, when it is time of rest, they will stop work. Within a month you will not see them. Can you want say? adventure. So they will rest and they will take the entire family for adventure. Hallelujah. Amen. One man see me. They take time to rest. Amen. Amen. In South Africa. In South Africa. So about in December. When it is December. What close you said here? They will close in the oh, business street. Oh, second can in December. They will not do any work he anymore. He said he want that in January. One November. Ne? Their work will run from January to through so to November. In December. Oh, she said cut cut. By November, they will not do any more work. Hey, but the way I get doctor. Except for the medical doctors, that the nurse to take care, don't take care. I want to sick. Or the nurses that are taking care of the so sick ones. But I want to say a job. But for the civil servants, you will not see them in office. What see me for the tumbo? Take time to rest for the coming year. That's how they do it. So but Nigeria, but Nigeria, twenty-four-seven. <laughs> Some will still run skeletal service. Who was that today? That money should just keep coming. Hallelujah. Amen. If on if only the fall sick. You will never see them stay back at home. And they will ask that woman, you are at home today. Hope there is no problem. Ah, brother. Ah, eh, Lord, are you not going to the office? Because we know you go to the office every day. Said I am under the weather. And by the time he has taken fencing and his body is okay, he set off again. Rest is important. That is what the Lord has taught us. If you want to live longer, take time to rest. Switch off your handset. A day, cause again you rest and spend the whole day to rest. So what if we are rest again you out of fresh water? And then you realize that you'll be refreshed again. But you are walking all the time. There's no day to rest. Before some people will sleep until 1 a.m. and they are awake again by 4 a.m. 
How many hours do they spend? Three hours. To to rest. Three hours. Number one will be pure. I know the guy. And when they check the uh, BP, it would have gone really high. The ignorant ones are the cross of their own problem. We should learn how to rest. But we are talking about the Sabbath day that you need to sanctify it. So, uh, and make it holy. When you get home, you can read up the book of Isaiah. Uh, that uh, best really explain it, but our time is past. 8, verse uh, 13 to 14. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can still remember at a certain time in this nation, while we were building our uh, cathedral, I will, I was thinking you. And she said, "Yeah, Lord, 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 for Lord, for that much." We pulled, we pulled down the previous one, and we are, are constructing it. And the Lord gave us the grace to construct so, it. Our fellow block, she okay. We so were. Don't forget, sell your cage. We were to move blocks up uh, the gallery so that work can commence oh, yeah, the next day. Oh, joy, and it was on the Sunday service like this. Ibi la se step pushi, abi. And, and the step was just by this side. Bo bo eya. Tell me, I got more can like church is in the way. To pati di si olu and once again you bo 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 la one man say. One thing I love about the members of the church is that when it comes to the work of the Lord, we all Tamale, are engaged. Aduro, abe se konde kio bo bo de ke ye. Awala awala se ju. And then that uh, wait, everybody, let's uh, work for God. Hallelujah. The, de uh, the decking, most of the members uh, were part and of the work. Again, they, once again, one year, so I want to let the one room, uh, cement is okay. The men removed their clothes and then they were uh, uh, carrying back of cement. And even some um, nursing mothers had to back their children and they carried blocks. Hallelujah. Amen. So on the Sunday service, after the service, we decided to move the blocks up the uh, gallery. Because, what, because the population that were carrying out that assignment were too much then yeah. the uh, step suddenly collapsed yeah. about four people were injured That's how Lord treat you. we quickly had to go and treat them but, ah, but I was really bothered that what could have happened father you are in our midst I, I went to the this. father and I asked father the lord the angels are also in our midst the, the Lord then said that because you have failed to sanctify the Sabbath day, that was why that incident happened. You have failed to sanctify the Sabbath day. So that's why <laughs> after the service, if anyone wants to do any menial job, I will ask them not to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That day I really learned my lesson. That the Sabbath day must be kept holy. I wasn't really uh, aware of uh, Sabbath day as that much. And when the Lord spoke to me about it, I realized that the great day of the Lord we were walking in the church. So he was a man lost of his life. I go make your door sorry, love Hey, business is here today. Hey, mother, I do. But some of us are rushed to the office on Sunday by 8 a.m. That I need to attend to some business. Do not. Yourself. You might escape it now because we are still infants in the spirit, but later on it will not be. Sorry, got a man for the need, you know, I mean, way you don't tell you about team, monk, and the cocoma fano, bad, you know, fano. So, when you tell about your exposure for the was again, you talk to Seru Gabaye, a baluku. So, the only thing there is that uh, when you are here to have the understanding of certain things and you do it. You will not really go through the punishment. But the day you are real you are able to realize and you still violate it, it will be chastisement. Yes. You are hearing this so that you can amend your ways. Every Sunday, what am I alone? Every Sunday you must learn to sanctify God. A day, a day program. 
So when, by the time you get back home, learn to praise God, and then it's a day program. By the time we are done with the service and we share the grace now, some people are going all the way to Ojota. What are they going there to do? Customer to do them. The customer is waiting for them. He said to bury. The work will start again. Ojota kwele la ni ose. Is only the only day within a week. How much is it? Your job can last. Your job make day four go go. You cannot even give a single day within ha. seven days to the Most High. Oh no, I don't know. I love the Lord will help us. So, kie salary no ro si so. Be careful in the statement you make. Oba fe ma ye alone si mi ma. Obo do ma moru ro ton so. If you want to sanctify God, you should know the kind of statement you make. Exodus chapter five verse two. If we exodus Uri can we say KG five two. Uri can we say KG. Farah Osi we pay. Farah we pay. Tani Oluwa. Tani Oluwa. Ti ebi ofi da omu rebo. Ti ma fi bo omu rebo. Lati jen ki Israeli ki olo. Ebi do ti kose ni ye. That was where he stumbled. Ofi oro ni ye alone si mima. He failed to sanctify God through that statement. I want to say, I want to say, I want comedian. The comedians, they are doing that. Some of them, I pity them. Some can bring them to the altar <laughs> and they will be making jesting with the pastor <laughs> and even the name of the Lord. <laughs> and even the, the funny part is that the born again Christian <laughs> in church they will be giving them a, a round of applause. <laughs> and should you make jest with the name of the Lord? When the Bible says you not call the name of the Lord in vain. <laughs> And they will, make, they will be making jest with slang. the name of the Lord. Erujeje, funare, the dreadful one himself. Uh, it's a pity. So, so many people do not know God, so they cannot fear Him. There's somebody that constructed Titanic ship. Yes, Titanic ship. Yes. Because that was the biggest ship all over the world then. When he will make a statement, he said, This one that he has constructed, that even if the Lord should descend, he cannot break. Nothing will happen to this ship. He was, uh, he really Sorry. believed in himself. Because he spent several years constructing it. He said, all that was within cannot shake at all. There's nothing that could affect it, he said. If he had just made the statement without mentioning the name of God, that was where he uh, mis- uh, made the statement. He mentioned the name of God. And when it would uh, be damaged, it was damaged, and even the oh. people on board. Pata, pata, ne. Uh, everything. Yenjue. Everything was destroyed. And because the father heard what he said, that because of this that you have constructed, this has no meaning before me. I, the, the only respect this year on earth. Is this what you have constructed and you are boasting over? Who has the brain that you have constructed? Who has given you the brain to construct it? It is the most high. The, the man that is supposed to honor God. That the Lord has given him the grace to do what no one has been able to do. He was supposed to go into the church and be rolling and giving thanks. That was already number one. And he made himself number one. That there is no one that can do it again. What have you done that no one else has done? Be careful of the statements you make. Whenever it comes to discussions about God, do not be a part of it. At 12. 21 to 23. 
Ese kokon lilogun si keta lilogun. Lojo afi yesiko. Lojo afi yesiko. Ero du gunwa osi. Ojo kolori te. Ojo kolori te re. O si soro fumo. O soro fumo awo ilu yes. Awo ni o si ho wipe. O ho ema gba o o wo ga yes. O wo olorun ni ki se se. O wo olorun le le ki se te yan ma. Loju kan da ageli oluwa lu. Ageli oluwa lu. Ni so si ko fi ogo fun olorun. Tori pe o ko fi ogo fun olorun. He never gave glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. O wo olorun le le eyan lo nsoro won so pe wo olorun. They said this is the voice of the Lord. A man was speaking, and they said it's the voice of the Lord. Please, who took him to that position of kingship? Who had the spirit of Herod? And you want to take the place of the King of Kings? You. I will prove to you that I created you. And I will not allow you to be uh, torn by the beast. Not man will consume you. But the Lord commanded the worm. Oh yeah, Go right inside him and begin to feed on him. And he begin to feed on him while he was alive. Till he died. The Lord never used a, a strong thing to defeat him. He was not about go kia ba that one kia sara kumoro. By the time you are going higher, be careful of the statements you make. Ninu e family re ma maruwa roto so. Right in your family, know the kind of statement you make. Ninu church ma maruwa roto so. In the church, know the kind of statement you make. Do not think because you have arrived there now you are the number one person. In the environment where you are, know the kind of statement you make. The father will take note of it. The king that knows the heaven and he knows the heart of man. He knows the thought of man. That is our God. He, he has not changed. Please, this is a lesson for us all. These people that we have mentioned, they have failed to sanctify God. If on that day, as the people were praising him, he just silenced them, nothing would have happened to him. But because the people said, this is the voice of the Lord, he waved his, his signal of office. And he placed him in the position of God. Whoever it is that placed you in the position of God is about to damage your life. Whoever it is you want to help, you should not allow them to allow you take the place of God. Always ascribe the glory to the Father. After all, at least we are just dust. Anytime we remember that, that we are dust, then we will return back to dust. Hallelujah. Amen. I do not know whether we have ever gone to the restroom and then Hallelujah. have defecated and you are you feel uncomfortable with it, you cover oh, your nose. But say fine to, but say that to go by yagbe. Otom po bumu kilo to bim po bumu. As uh, <laughs> as beautiful as you are, when you defecate, you still cover your nose. Why do you cover your nose? As I flush, I was sorry, just to come back. Some will quickly flush and go out of it. You will not pack where any way. No joy can you go go kato walara wa decay. Do you not realize that at the end, everything on your body will decay? Hallelujah. Amen. O pe ya ne ya. That is the end of man. Oh, oh ne gbe la gara la la. You cannot boast at all. I pray. The spirit of complete humility. The Lord released to us. Let me say a little more because we have to pray. Because we have to end it because of the rest of our program. The children of Israel did something. Go with me to the book of Ezekiel. That is six twenty. Yes. 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 Yes.
They profane my holy name. When the children of Israel got in the midst of the heathens that were, they were, it's just an example of somebody traveling out from our midst and going all so, the way abroad. Now, as a matele, the culture and tradition that he wasn't used to before he has now lent it those things he would not do before he has suddenly forgotten about uh, his lifestyle and he Engaging them. The Lord said to the children of Israel that you went to the midst of the heathens and you profaned my name. Right in your office, the name of the Lord must not be profaned. Hallelujah. Amen. Who else is working something for you aside from the prayer that you pray? Let the name of the Lord not be profaned. Right in your home, let it not be profaned. That was what happened to the children of Israel where they were sent to. They profaned the name of the Lord. So, when we get home, you can read up that chapter from verse 20 to 23. Ezekiel 16. And then Ezekiel 38, 16, you will find it there also. 39, 7. And 39.7. Ezekiel 39.7. We must not profane the heavy and powerful name of God. Integrity integrity matters a lot. When you have gone to do some um, contract and the unbelievers are saying you are also part of us. Are you not, uh, do you not answer uh, the name Ezekiel? Uh, do you also drink? You claim to be a born again. Hallelujah. Amen. And then you have gone to work uh, at a site and within a week and you have uh, engaged the service of a strange woman. He was James. You that you answer the name James. I want to join you. Say, ah ah, the best is okay. According to the Abi, is okay. This is the you know the evangelism, the evangelism. Ah ah, kill the devil, silly. And Boru Kolo run James Bitola. And the and the unbelievers around you will now say, but you said you are James, and then you are part of the choristers. But the name of the Lord has just been profaned through him. And whoever will make the name of the Lord to be profaned, it will be a problem. So wherever a Christian is, the name of the Lord has to be glorified in them. Not that we will not go with, to church with you. So Such name has been profaned. Please, in the name, in the journey of this year, do not attempt to profane the name of the Lord. Do not think people do not know you; they indeed know you. So, one of our youth was washing the clothes outside, and somebody just tapped on campus and said, "You are a Christ and Time member." said I think I recognize this face you are a Christ and time member the person was afraid said ah so you know me that much it then means that if he had been doing something terrible he would have also reported him you cannot hide your evil works our works are just like smoke it will come out someday so do not let, allow the name of the Lord to be profaned he says you should not call the name of the Lord your God in vain go with me to the book of Job before we stop that's for where we read for our lesson reading chapter 1 verse 1 to 5 verse 1 to 5 Yes. Mm-hmm. 
ati omo obirin meta fun o won si re si je ede gbarin agunton ati egbe dogun ibakase ati ede gbeta ajaga odo malu ati ede gbeta aboketekete o si po be ni okunrin si poju gbogbo awon omo ara ilawo olorun mo tobi the lord made him great o tobi la koko ti e he was great in his own time owo olorun lo wa lare the hand of god was heavy upon him so gbo job man se nkan kan but job will usually do something nitori oruko oluwa because of the name of the lord e te si waju awon omo re asi ma lo ije won asi ninu ile ara won won lo ma nje ase kini we kini o nje ase te won se what is the feast that they go for one man say bad day they usually celebrate their birthday ba wa se man say bad day fa won omo wa just as we celebrate the birthday for our children baba won lowo their father is rich gbogbo won pata ni won se birthday laarin odun and they all will celebrate their birthday in a year ti enikan ba ti fe se birthday when any time any one of them is about to celebrate the birthday san yogo won se ke ni o wa gba ruko ti the other nine will gather around the person wa se ke ni o wa ma se faji and they will have merriment wa ma mu wa ma je they will drink and eat so baba won se ke ni o o den ki esi nkan ti won se and the father was watching all that they were doing ah job wise gan job happens to be a wise man o wise gan he happens to be a wise Allah man follow your figure the lord gave him so much grace that is why oluku ni ojo re eh eh won si ma ranse pe arabirin won meteta lati je won ati lati mo pelu won yes o se nigbati ojo asi won pe yika nigbati won ba wa pari aye ye yen yes then after that uh, celebration ni job ranse lo ya won si mimo o wa ma ya won si mimo o si dide ni kutukutu owuro o tete dide ni kutukutu oluwo pe ti kene o kile o to ma ati kene o ati sare lo si le won get up very early in the morning e bo si sun ni ye won ni ye gbogbo won ni ye gbogbo won pata a ma rubo a ma rubo fun won for each one of them e we make a bond offering ki lo to fi rubo fun won why did he choose to make a bond offering that's why you need to job wi pe job wi pe boya awon mo mi ti se boya won ti se won ko si so pe fun olorun lo ko o so pe fun olorun boya won mo yi o ya baba si bi mo ni gbogbo bad day ti won se maybe this uh, uh sons and daughters are feel to sanctify god why they are celebrating their birthday je ti ya gbera mo ji won ko ba me let me quickly set off let them not implicate me eni ko kan won ni orugbo fun he will make a bond offering for each one of them olorun ogago the lord most i irubo ti ta yere o boya ngo se ba de o kan se ba de ni ko fo pe fun o this is the bond offering for this person maybe while he was celebrating the birthday he failed to sanctify you mo fo pe fun baba o i give thanks to you father e se lori taye o thank you over tai ato po sori kainde and we go to the next person ato rubo and make a bond offering baba mo se lori kainde o father i thank you over that kainde mo gbe o ka pole se ba de todun yin and i magnify you that you he was able to celebrate the birthday this year mo gbe o ka to pe ba de mi esi o i magnify you for you kept in my life say mo come on my day ni won he knows that they are children o ye ti baba won ni awon oni and the uh, knowledge that their father had they do not have o ma rubo fun gogo won pata ki won le ba mo ri olorun fin he will make a bond offering for each one of them so that they will not have been rude to god toro mo we pe won o le ya olorun si mimo but it's not he knows that they cannot sanctify god hello Hello sir. In but you want say bad day so in your alone see me ma. When you celebrate your birthday do you sanctify God? He love him say bad day. What are those things you celebrate your birthday with? Hallelujah. Amen. Take it gbogbo yen le ba pe o say bad day. Is it for everyone to know that you celebrate your birthday? Bible Lord alone say because say bad day. How does the Lord want you to celebrate so your birthday? So that your birthday re ale se tewo gba. So that your birthday can be acceptable. Olorun a ran wa lowo. The Lord will help us. Gbogbo awon oye yi baba ma fi ye wa. This is the Lord will give us the understanding so, of these things. Let us learn to sanctify oh, God. That is the first thing in the life of man. Anytime you wake up in the morning, you should realize that you were asleep and your soul has gone far. Who is it that restored back your soul? Who is it that restored it back? Baba, Baba, look it. It was the father in oh, the wow, and your eyes were open oh, we are you were able to raise your hand all oh, the force okay you were able to jump kilo eko ko se what are you supposed to do oh ye ko ko bo la fun olorun you're supposed to first honor even god even before you go to the hallelujah 
toilet. Except you are serious Baba in prayers, you might be going there and saying, Father, I thank you that you restore back my soul to Thank you. We are only, we can only see today, we do not know tomorrow. The spirit in you is the one that kept it. Do not suddenly turn it to your own. You are thankful over that soul because you are not the owner. I do not know whether you usually take note of what I'm about to say. By the time we first wake up from the bed, how will the body system feel? How will you feel? Eh, immediately when even when they try waking eh, some people back, 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 you, know, you tap and tap them they so, will not wake up wambo, and when they are just about to wake up and they will be stretching their hand and they will try to stretch their feet also and they will then sit maybe for a few two minutes and and the the body will now be settled because the spirit was far away so you should realize that it is by the uh, mercy of God that that spirit has been restored back amen I tried to uh, do something for one of my uh, children. He, he did not wake up on time because we are about to have the devotion. I beat him up. So later, And I later studied that. And I realized that he is not somebody that can so, just quickly get up from bed. When I want to wake my that particular child, I will stand beside. Magba. I will tap. Did they stand? Pone down. Will not the answer? Did they stand? Pone down. It will not stand. Now what do And I wait there. No way around it be four. Around in the morning, like about four a.m. Man, oh yeah, did they, did they, did they? I say now get up, get Man, up. Man, I will not shout. So what about the other more team? Oti, oti. When I now realize that he is gradually. Oh yeah. ディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディディ
message this is the message this one. lord help have mercy help on me to honor you always help me lord let me honor you always go ahead and talk to god your lifestyle must honor god your children should honor god your husband must honor god your wife must honor god the moment you wake up in the morning learn to honor god when you get to your workplace first you need to honor god that means you sanctify god when you uh, honor god imagine how job honored god with his own children but eli never honored god with his children every time job will make bond offering for the sake of his children because he sanctified them before the lord and that's exactly how parents should do sanctify you in the statement that i make yes in in every statement that I make, let me sanctify you always. Remember the children of Israel never honored God in the strange land where they were. Oh, come in one long simba. They did other things there. They have forgotten the God of Israel. And that was why the eyes of the Lord was away from them. Pray. Your, your situation requires a lot of prayer. Father, have mercy on me. Let me never be disobedient to you. Let me never be disobedient to you. This is a prayer you should pray very well. Let me not be disobedient to you, Lord. Where exactly have you been disobedient to the Most High? Pray that the Lord should help you not to be disobedient anymore. pray that prayer one more time before i pray in the journey of this year let me not be disobedient to you be it spiritually or physically father let me not be disobedient to you all that you are doing the father is watching from above there is no such thing that you do that 
father is not aware of. Even before you speak, he knows you are going to speak. He knows the thoughts within your heart. Baba Father, have mercy on me. Let me not be disobedient to you. Yes, Oluwawa. Amen. I do not know if you know this song, but by the time I sing, we can take it up. Lord, be me. A sanctuary, pure and holy, try and true. Ooh, we thanks give. I'll be happy. Sanctuary for you, Lord, prepare me a sanctuary. Hey, take a bow, was okay. Raise your hands. To we thank you. I'll be a living, oh, that you are for you. You can call it because you believe, boy. Yes, yes, one more time. Lord, be me. Oh, as a Father, Spirit of the prophet. 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 Hey, Spirit of the prophet. Oh, the grace. Hey, sanctify you. Right in our home. Right in our place. Let no share share our ministry. Only one God release to us. Baba, Father, Hallelujah. We have no other person. You are the first in all things. Ah, Baba, Father, we have seen examples of people that failed to sanctify you. They took their position away from them. And some of them, they died suddenly. But we Christians do not know this. To sanctify God in our homes, in our workplace, Baba, Father, all your fair, the grace from today to sanctify your holy name. Oh, no, I pay for what? In this world, amen.
Olorun God of mercy Jehovah we plead. We do not want to sin against you this year. Because we want to receive a powerful oil. Father, we plead. In every area that we have been disobedient to you. Father, by your mercy, settle me. Father, help us not to boast of ourselves. Let's not be full of ego. Let the negative statement not proceed out of our mouth. Let negative thought not proceed out of our mind. Baba, the evil thought. Let it not proceed out of our mind. We must The Holy Scripture says. And uh, the Lord said concerning somebody in the Holy Scripture that I can notice an evil thought in, in you. The Father told him from where we just read. Father, let no evil thought come out of our heart. The evil behaviors, let us not uh, put it up. And Gaius was told that it was my high not going with you. He would have received a much more powerful oil. For covetousness stopped him from receiving that oil. Holy Ghost. Have mercy on us. Amen. Help us not to be disobedient. Let's say, Lord, amend our lives. Amend the life of our children. Amend the life of the church. Amen. one of us, amend our lives. It is so. In the name of Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Jesus our Lord. More friends, okay, King Badras. Raise your offering as I will pray. Father, I thank you for the grace given to us to give this. Father, accept our thanks. Glory be to your holy name. I sanctify this offering in the name of Father, of a son, and of the Holy Ghost. As we give, the Father will bless us. Authority is on it. Jesus our Lord. Let the baptismal student go to their class. Before we start our Sunday summer. 